Hey guys, welcome to the first video of Habit Harvester. Now, this first section, we're going to talk a little bit about why we need a habit and what a habit is. So, habits are especially important because a lot of people find it very difficult to find motivation. And what happens is, is if you don't need motivation and the habit is already there, you will continue doing it even when it's hard. For example, you might brush your teeth. Nobody really needs motivation to brush their teeth because if you've been doing it for 30 years, you just know that's what you do before you go to bed. And it's the same thing. You can train yourself to read a book. You can train yourself to go for a six mile bike ride when you wake up. There's all kinds of habits that you can start and implement that will help you become more successful later on in your life. And some of those you can even start cashing out within a couple weeks of starting. So habits are especially important because we cannot rely on motivation because motivation will go away. You know, you get motivated by reading a new book or you get motivated by trying a new sport because it's fun and it's interactive and it gets you going. And then after a while, maybe three months, maybe six months down the road, the motivation goes away and you start to stall on your skill level. And there's just other aspects of learning something that you start to stall and you don't love it as much and the motivation goes away. And what happens is hopefully in those three to six months that you started the activity or started putting money into your bank account or started reading a book, hopefully you have developed habits so that when that motivation goes away, you still have that discipline. And that discipline is in the form of a habit that every day when I wake up, I read 30 minutes or every day when I wake up, I'm going to go for a six mile bike ride. And over time, they will compound and they will fuel your success. Now, the other side of the coin is you could have bad habits. You could smoke three cigarettes a day. You could smoke half a pack a day. That will also compound and lead to the unsuccessful part of your life. You know, you'll have uh, higher chances of lung cancer. Your friends and family may not hang around you as often if you have a smoking habit. And in this course, I will aim to help you identify all the habits in your life and reverse engineer them and say, is this going to help me to get to where I want to go? So the thing about discipline is not very many people want to become disciplined. And there's a reason behind that. Some guy said a quote, I don't remember who it is, but basically it said, what differentiates successful people from the rest of people is not what they do when they feel like it, but when they don't feel like it. So anyone can go to YouTube and learn how to start playing a piano or playing a guitar. But what will happen is they'll lose motivation and it will become hard. They'll be like, oh, I've learned six chords and now I don't feel like learning anymore because I've learned the song that I wanted. But what differentiates them from someone who is super successful is the fact that someone that is super successful has continued to learn more chords. They continue to progress and advance and challenge themselves. And the cool thing about habits is once they are formed, once they're locked in the neural pathways of your brain, they start to turn really difficult things, things that you might struggle with into easier things. For example, you might struggle working out every day. Now, if you recall Arnold Schwarzenegger, he worked out all the time. But now that he's in his older age, he finds that it's way easier. How much easier do you think it is for him to work out than it is for someone who has never worked out before? Or what about reading? The more you read, the better you get at it. So once you have that habit formed, it'll eventually compound and you'll read faster and you'll read more. And then by the time you're 60 or 70, imagine how much knowledge you could accumulate just by reading 30 minutes a day. So this is why we have to have habits in our lives because there's a lot of important aspects that we don't think about. And another thing about habits is, is that they're really subconscious, which means we don't think about them consciously. You know, you don't think about, you know, when you're driving to work, that route that you take every day and you've taken for the last six years, you might not even think about, oh, I need to turn my blinker on here and then I need to turn. You just, you automatically, it's a habit. Your brain has established that neural pathway and that's what you do when you're at that intersection. And if you can, if you can copy and paste basically that section of your brain into other habits like reading, working out, trying to find new investments in your health, wealth, love, and happiness, and just understanding what a habit is, reverse engineering it, and using it to boost your success. That's what the objective of this course is. So one last thing about habits is that they harden like concrete over time and they compound. And I think I mentioned this earlier, but for example, let's say you have $3 every day and you put that in into an investment account. So $3 every day, you know, for a while it's, it's going to start getting tough because $3 every day, you might not even notice it out of your checking account, but if you're consistently taking $3, you know, not buying that cup of coffee or not buying that candy bar and taking that $3 and putting it into an investment account, it will start to compound. It'll become a habit, you won't think about it, but the results of it will definitely be shown. If you start at age 20 and you end at age 60, $3 every day, you will have an account worth over $700,000. Now another example is alcohol. If you have alcohol every day from the age that you are 20 to the age you are 60, there are going to be some unimaginable effects 
in your health, wealth, love, and happiness aspects of your life. Habits can be positive, but they can also be negative. And in the next sections, we're going to talk about identifying bad habits, how to get rid of them, how to replace them with better habits, and how to create new habits stand alone. So from this video, you need to understand that when motivation goes away, you have to have discipline. And discipline manifests itself as a habit. So the more habits you have, the more successful, positive, accelerating habits you have in your life, you will boost your success. But it works the other way too because you also have to get rid of your negative habits. And if you do both of these, if you build positive habits and get rid of negative habits, over time you will see your life start to flourish. You will see many positive changes in your life. And things that were once difficult will start to become easy because you'll understand your part of the brain that has to do with habits. You'll understand the cue habit reward process and how you can implement that and how you can implement that to create more habits. So let's move on to the next section of finding bad habits and trying to get rid of them. If you guys enjoyed that video and want to read the book I wrote that it came from, search Amazon for Habit Harvester or click the link in the description. The book is short enough to read in one sitting, but is jam-packed with tons of information just like you saw in this video. In fact, I've also added a few extra stories and fixed some of the errors found in this video course. There's also plenty of amazing illustrations to aid in the learning process and keep the book fun to read. If you're interested, you can buy the Kindle version for $2.99 or sign up for a month of Kindle Unlimited to get it for free, which is what I personally use and you get access Access to millions of other ebooks and thousands of audiobooks included in your Kindle Unlimited membership. When you buy the Kindle version, you don't even need a Kindle to read it. You can download the Kindle app on your smartphone, download the software for PC, or even read it on Amazon.com through their cloud server. If you want to watch the rest of the videos in this series, click this thingy or check the link in the description for a playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching.